All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So not sure what I'm going to call this podcast yet, but I think I'm going to call it, Do You Look at Yourself as an Overachiever or an Underachiever? So I kind of have the definition here for both, and usually I don't look at notes when I do my podcast, but <clears throat> under Underachiever, it says... Uh, one such as a student that fails to attain a predicted level of achievement or does not do as well as expected. That's interesting, right? And then as an overachiever, or the description I found, was one who achieves success over and above the standard of expected level, especially at an early age. And one of the reasons I want to do a podcast on this, because me and my friends used to goof around. And that was a big thing that we used to say, this person's an overachiever, he's an underachiever. And I think I went through that when I was younger because a lot of people um, thought I overachieved because I, I didn't go to college. And I went and worked with my father, but I was doing a lot of other things. And I think a lot of people, especially in my school, I guess you could say, or fellow students or people I knew thought I was going to end up, you know, just uh, in a bad situation. I don't want to, you know, I don't know what type of career, but it wasn't good. A lot of my even teachers used to say that to me as well. And then I had a lot of other friends, too, that we thought were going to succeed and become very, um, you know, overachieve, go to very high-level schools, um, uh, become very successful at a young age, even if they were entrepreneurs or working downtown Chicago as a stockbroker or a trader or things like that. And a lot of them failed. And some did very well. Um, and, you know, I kind of look at life a lot of times, it's, it's very interesting, as sometimes overachieving and underachieving at different times throughout your life. I, I sometimes wonder, though, when I, I look at me personally, you may go through this, is like at times I may have looked at myself and said, wow, you overachieved to a certain degree because you went and did all these other things that people said you couldn't do. And you're still doing them or you just went and did whatever the hell you wanted to do. You had the balls to do it. It could be making films, writing books, creating programs, doing podcasts, doing whatever the hell I wanted to do, even traveling for years, even before I traveled for work and going and living the life that I truly wanted to lead. But then on a financial level, a lot of times I feel like I underachieved. Now, I don't know if that was because I was always spending money doing what I wanted to do, but I never really got caught up with money. Uh, I, when I was younger, I did, I should say, but not as I aged, which could have been a, you know, a, a weakness of mine, but I still was able to do what I wanted to do. And I do th also think, you know, that's kind of where I bounce between overachieve and underachieve. And I also look at myself too. And I wonder, because I was a, not really a good student at all. And I know I have comprehension skills, uh, that are weak. A lot of times I'm not a very good listener. And at times I like to read a lot of books and other times I don't. Sometimes I like to do all this, and then other times I don't want to be bothered. I kind of go, you know, by the seat of my pants. I just do whatever I feel like doing. I'm not consistent. I'm actually quite the opposite. I don't, I, well, I may have to change this up eventually in the future just to get a little more consistent for my health, but I always like doing whatever the hell I want to do. That would include waking up, sleeping, working out, uh, eating, just doing what the hell I felt like doing throughout my life. And that's what I wanted to do. But again, that could be looked at, and I think a lot of people look at me and go, that's amazing, you know, that you got to do that. And then at other times, they don't see all the failure and rejection that I went to on the other end. And then I look back and go, man, I should have been at a much higher level than I'm at right now. I've definitely underachieved in my eyes. And you may feel like this as well. And I don't, you know, in this, when we read the descriptions, it kind of sounded like youth. But I think under and overachieving, it doesn't matter what age you are. You know, I think maybe it does kind of remind you of school or college, you know, that type of thing. But I think in life in general, a lot of us look at us and say, well, am I an underachiever? Like, I should have been so much more. I could have been a lot more successful. Or do you kind of look at yourself and say, well, I was backed up against the wall. I didn't have an education. I didn't have any money. I came from a bad neighborhood. I ended up getting a home. I have a family. I have a great job, you know. And then what? You know, it's like another man's steaks, another man's burger. Is that my father saying that? A lot of us sometimes don't realize all that we have accomplished in our life. And we're kind of depressed because maybe we didn't accomplish what we thought. Or we just didn't think we were going to end up at a certain position uh, at a certain time in our life. So again, that underachieving type thing works, you know, in our mind a little bit. And I'm not even saying we use these words. I think a lot of times we just look at ourselves as failing or succeeding. Wealthy, broke, Right. Uh, having a lot of possessions, having nothing really, or, or like, 
a bunch of bullshit, I guess you could say. And, you know, I, th- I think sometimes, it, and I talk a lot about reinventing yourself. And I, I actually like doing that. And I, I do that all the time, actually. Not at a high level, but I kind of dress differently all the time. I like taking on different endeavors and different things. And maybe you're there too where I'm going to say if you feel like an underachiever a lot of times, maybe you just haven't gone after like what you're really great at. Now, I know that may sound like you've heard that a million times, but there's something maybe out there that is really for you that you don't realize that you can really succeed in. I'm telling you right now. And, you know, a lot of times, again, we're going to look at, you know, people that are overachievers. And I think, like myself, you may watch YouTube videos, TikTok, podcasts, all these different things about these guys that don't sound much different than you when they talk about their story. I'm sure a lot of them got maybe luckier than you did. A lot of them put themselves in the right place at the right time. But a lot of these, even entrepreneurs or influencers or a lot of them, you know, you may be a lot more intelligent than them in certain areas. You may be a lot more... You know, it could be physically fit than them. You could, you may be, you know, smarter, like I said, or you may be, uh, just have better work ethic. You may just be a better person than these people, but for some reason you haven't succeeded. Uh, but I do think what it came down to is they found their niche. They found what they were good at, whatever that is. And maybe you could do the same because I'm interested in doing something different as well. And I've been kind of dragging my feet and trying to figure that out as well. Like what is the next move for me? What do I really want to do? How am I going to you know, achieve more than I've achieved before? Instead of just saying, oh yeah, let's go try another, you know, whatever you want to try. I want to exceed this time at a much higher level, if possible. And that may be coming down to spending more money, building a bigger team or a stronger team than just kind of me always being independent. But you may think the same, you know, you may be thinking about doing some things like this as well. I just want to mention what I've been going through, so maybe it would help you. Uh, but don't sell yourself short. I talk about it all the time. You may not realize all the gifts and skills that you have. And a lot of people in your life may have told you you're stupid, you're dumb, you're never going to you know, amount to anything. Uh, you're an asshole, you're arrogant, or you're, you know, all these things, and things have not popped for you. And I get it. I've been there. Just because I've done a lot of things does not mean by any means a lot of things ever popped or became as successful as I wanted, like I said earlier. So that's all I got for you today. Got any questions or comments, please feel free to hit me up. I'm at rich at richchalenza.com. And my website's richchalenza.com. Take care.